Hi there, Fina here. Um, I do videos just to encourage and uplift um, anyone that's watching and listening. Um, I tell stories about my life experiences and the lessons that I've learned. And today we're going to be talking about how I celebrate my birth month. As you can tell, is in October this month. I started about a couple years ago celebrating the whole month. Um, mainly, I think, because as I'm getting older, uh, you learn to appreciate life. You learn to appreciate the things you've been through. So, yeah, I don't want to take life for granted. I want to enjoy everything I can and be thankful and grateful. And so, I just take the month of October to do extra special things. And so, I'm going to share those today. I always kind of like to share um my childhood or um things that i can remember and for me my childhood celebrating my birthday was family coming over um and usually because my birthday is so close to halloween um, we'd have a halloween party and there were other cousins that birthdays were around the same time and um, everybody would uh, make like homemade costumes and there's always food, usually piñata or goodie bags were handed out, um, maybe a bonfire. Um, and it was just a great time with family all being together. Um, I know as I've gotten older um, and realized that some people don't celebrate Halloween and um, they have their opinions about that and, and I understand, but for me, Halloween means family time. Halloween means celebrating together um, with the ones that you love. My birth month is another a remembrance and appreciation um, that God made me. God made me this month, this time, this season uh, for a reason. Um, he made me um, how just how he wanted to. So this month of October is an extra time to be thankful um, and just rejoice in all the things that life has brought me and look forward to many more. Some of the things that I like to do, um, just to do extra special things is maybe phone a friend, call a friend that I haven't talked to in a long time and um, just have you know coffee or tea or even lunch or dinner and just to get to chit chat and catch up, um, just to take some uh, quality time with those extra friends that maybe I haven't got to spend some time with. Um, sometimes I'll stop and get um, like a herbal tea or energy teas that I don't usually get um, or a dessert or a snack or um, just all those little things throughout the day. I just try and take time um, to really appreciate them. And, and, you know, if I see something, maybe a, a small gift that um, I had my eye on or, you know, I've been thinking about, um, I may purchase that. Um, it's almost like a New Year's for me, like a refreshing, a restarting. Um, I like to think about um, crafts that I have wanted to do and maybe haven't made the time to do them. I'll, I'll try and make time um, this month to do those um, like uh, projects and crafts that I wanted to do. Um, reading books, I try and uh, make some extra special time to um, read a book, especially when the weather's so nice. I can sit out on the porch and read um, or just in bed or on the couch. Um, those are just some small things that um, I do during the month to, to make it extra special. <laughs> This month, my husband started giving me presents each day to open 
that's been amazing and crazy. Um, he actually said it was my idea and I said, no, this, I never, I never said that. I never asked for that. And so he says it's my idea and no, but I mean, Hey, I like it. I'm loving it. Um, so thoughtful and so sweet and it's been fun and, uh, to see the things that he's picked out. I have some awesome friends um, who love to celebrate not only my birthday, but we celebrate each other's birthdays on the months um, of each other's birthdays. And so like this month, um, it's my birthday and things that they do to make it special. They'll send me birthday messages of happy birth month or uh, special things that um, throughout the years have meant something to us. They'll take that extra time to send it or photos from years before of fun times that we've had and um, or prayers or just some kind of encouragement or um, they just make um, the month special whether they send something daily or weekly or um, and then we try and set aside a time when we can get together and do something to celebrate um, we've done all kinds of things um, we've done boo at the zoo uh, where we dressed up in um, like onesie type costumes and went to the zoo and had a great time and or we'll go out to dinner and um, usually there's balloons and confetti and um, cards and presents and uh, you know desserts and all the fun stuff. Uh, my most favorite birthday was um, one time when um, they told me to meet them or they picked me up and uh, we all met at a friend's house and um, they gave me a present to open and, and I opened it and it was a Bucky shirt and they told me to put it on and so I put it on because they know how much I love Bucky's and so I put it on uh, well I went in to go put it on when I came out they all had the same shirt on so um, we all had the same Bucky shirt on and then um, they said okay on to the next part of the birthday and we got in one of the girls car and usually there's a what we call a car party involved. Um, so they pick whoever's car we're riding in and they decorate it like a party. There's usually balloons as always. Um, and then there's usually streamers or flowers or uh, stuffed animals. I mean, we just find whatever makes us happy or makes that birthday person happy. Um, one year we did sunflowers. So, you know, there were sunflowers all around. Um, Sometimes we do themed stuff, sometimes we don't. It's just anything colorful makes it a party. And so we got in the car, um, and we got in the car, and we had a car party driving. I didn't know where we were going. Uh, so they played music, and we sang songs. We caught up. Uh, we just had a great time chit-chatting. Um, and so soon, sooner than later, we pull up to Bucky's. And I'm like, what in the world? And they're like, happy birthday. And so uh, we go in, we get snacks, we have fun in Bucky's. And then we go uh, to get back in the car. And they kind of did drive circles in the parking lot. And um, then we kind of pull over to the side of the parking lot. And I'm like, what are we doing? And they had gotten uh, plates and cups and snacks and drinks. Um, because we had a Bucky's birthday party in the parking lot that year and it was so much fun uh, we had a picnic we got all of our snacks and our drinks they had present more presents and we had a Bucky's birthday party which was so much fun uh, and then we got back in the car and had a car party on the way home and finished out my birthday and it was the best. Those are just some of the things I do for my birth month. Um, just little things. Um, so I just wanted to share that for this week's video. Um, maybe in the comments you can tell me some things you do for your birthday or your birth month. Do you celebrate a birth month? I would love to hear about it. I would love to hear the stories that... Um, um, how you've celebrated also uh, so you can put that in the comments life is short and it can get busy and we just had to make time for those things that we enjoy and that we love and the people that bring us joy and make sure that we're enjoying life as much as we can and so again um i try and do that for my birth month I try and do it as a life 
life trait or life uh, character. But definitely for my birth month, I do extra stuff and these are just some of the examples. I got a couple more weeks to celebrate. So thank you for stopping. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching um, for this week's video. Don't forget if you're liking the videos to give me a thumbs up, like the video, um, share the video. Remember to subscribe. So when I do new videos, you get notified and I will see you next time. I've got to go find some other ways to do fiestas for the rest of the month.